Good morning everyone. It's 6.45 in the morning. It's very foggy and it's very, very cold. It's now 7 a.m. in the morning and the answer to this question is nope. To be fair, they've got quite a decent kitchen with for some reason tons of sinks, lots of places to cook and original features just in case we're attacked by archers. Uh, 25 kilometers to go today, ish, um, to a place called Operforda, I think. Um, and that's 20 kilometers from there to Santiago. Um, I was thinking about maybe going all the way to Santiago today. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. Um, we'll kind of make that decision later on, but my feet are kind of still hurting from yesterday, so we'll see. And so we leave the old berg and see what we can get for breakfast. Alrighty, I have hot chocolated. I have got my little chocolate croissants for this morning. We are on our way. Seven fifty-two in the morning, and we're in a town called Alzua. Arzua. Um, just past a pilgrim, a uh, slightly older gentleman, sitting down to a pint of beer at 7.52 in the morning. Pilgrim life! break again. Um, still tossing up whether or not to try for Santiago today. If I go slowly-ish and stop quite often along the way, I might. Um, but we'll get to O Pedrezo or whatever it's called, make a decision whether or not we want to go on from there. So we'll keep walking. you thought the eucalyptus trees yesterday were a fluke. Nope. I give you the great eucalyptus forests of western Spain. Northwestern Spain. Who knew? Is that just me? Or is that a robot mowing that lawn? feeling that the town I was going to stop in for the night is one of those towns that's not actually on the Camino. Again, um, not the end of the world, um, the next one isn't uh, very far away so we'll just do that instead. Well I just looked at my book, it seems to think there are no more albergues between here and about four kilometers beyond before Santiago and if I'm getting within four kilometers of Santiago I'm going to Santiago. Um, oh well, we'll see. It is what it is. The feet aren't too feeling too bad in the back's all right. Well, I just checked and it looks like we're about 16 kilometers from Santiago. It's uh, 
1.45, 1.30 in the afternoon. So, screw it. Why not? Let's just go to Santiago and we'll have two nights there. And literally two seconds later, here's a hostel I could have stayed at. Oh well. It's apparently a busy day on the Camino today. Well, it was a nice little break. It is 2.30. And if all goes to plan, we should be in Santiago by about 6.30, so well, let's keep going. I may have forgotten one important thing at that last stop though. A little bit of this. That's not quite enough to get me all the way to Santiago. Well, I won't die. I probably won't die. It's unlikely, but uh, ironic, the last day, the last 13 kilometres. In case you're wondering, that was Santiago's airport, or at least the runway for it. Um, so we're not very far away now. Afternoon. There was a fountain at that church, so got water. So now it's just a question of one foot in front of the other, and we'll finish this off. hamburger that was actually a really good hamburger um, I could do without all the hills right at the end of the Camino though the town of Monte de Goza or Gozo one of the two anyway four and a half kilometers to go one and a bit hours well this is a bit confusing do we go that way towards the Elberg or do we go straight on there's no arrows saying to go straight on there's that one there, and there is the path, and it looks like maybe there's a pilgrim sign down there, so we'll, we'll go this way and see what happens. Oh, it's, it's annoying. Um, so the Oberg, the municipal Oberg's here. Here's another yellow sign. Over there, is that just a parking sign? Ah, literally four kilometers before you get to Santiago de Compostela, and the signs give up on you. In case you're wondering, Every one of these is a dormitory. This is the biggest refuge I think I've ever seen. Probably 500 beds, I would think. This is a big place. Well, that seems reasonably clear. This way. It's a little bit like something out of The Shining. I wonder when the last time was they opened these up. Actually, come to think of it, I don't think that was beds 400 to 450 and things like that on there. I think that was rooms 400 to 450. So if you assume six beds per room, maybe two and a half, three thousand people could stay there. That's a lot of pilgrims. That's quite nice though. Okay. 
Oh, I just walked down this hill. That just takes me back up to where I was. No, 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 no. Aha. I see another sign. This sign I like much better. Yes, please, we will follow you. search of where I get my stamp and my little certificate and I think this is it Compostela, and I just had to walk across a quarter of Europe to get it. Ah, brilliant. Right, now I'm going to go and find my hotel, have a shower. Well, this is my room. Lovely little bathroom with a bathtub, which I may well be making use of. I didn't make use of the last one, but I might make use of this one. Bedroom, and then I'm going to make sure I don't drop you guys, but look at the view. That's not bad. Right. Um, this is a sign that I was walking for way too long. I'm not going to focus that. Um, you can use your imagination. So I'm going to go have a shower and then I'm going to go and meet some people and have some drinks. Are you down, did it, down, did it? 